Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this video, let's focus on other creative solutions of current electricity. And these questions uh, came off like in Dhagabut 2019. So as you know that I have uploaded a sequential video series on each chapter. Uh, before going to explain the creative solutions, I uploaded uh, the theoretical classes, sequential, and then I solved the creative questions. And this is the second class of the creative solutions of chapter current electricity. So let's focus this circuit. So here, one, two, three, four, and five resistance are there, and this is a closed circuit. So it's given the electromotive force is six volt. Six volt, and in this circuit, four ohm, two, four ohm, one, two, three, and four, separately, they're connected parallelly in the circuit, and 2 ohm resistance is added or connected with a series connection. So I hope you know what is parallel and series connections in the circuit. So you know that in creative questions there are four set of questions. So I didn't write number one and two question because it varies a lot. So uh, think about it. The first question is about uh, states Ohm's law. So I hope you know that what is Ohm's law that um, we can say that the current passing through a circuit or current passing through a conductor in a, in a constant temperature is directly proportional to the potential differences of that conductor in two points. So I hope you have seen already my tutorials on Ohm's law that I say that I or the electricity is directly proportional to the voltage. So uh, from that we got our, our equations that I is actually equal to V divided by R. So it can be the first question uh, which is very simple, Ohm's law or even any sort of questions or any sort of definition from this chapter. Number B, it might be a question like uh, the value of EMF is always greater than the potential differences in a closed circuit. This is again a very important thing. You must remember one thing that EMF or you know that this is electro electromotive electromotive force. So EMF is always greater than the voltage the voltage of a closed circuit. Why? As because simply you think that this is a battery or internal resistance think about it and this is a simple circuit where there is a resistance okay so now there should be a potential differences between these two point that is the main reason for for the flow of electron and we know that electricity is again uh, nothing but the flow of electron. So this flow of electron is happening through this where for the potential differences of these two points. But actually inside there must be an energy that actually drives it into two to to drive here that, that reason, main energy inside into this internal energy and then it actually provoked the electrons to go through this circuit and this energy inside is called EMF or electromotive force. So as we are actually counting the resistance of this circuit from this point to this point but here you know that this is the electric generator or you can say the cell or battery which is producing that potential differences to go through the electron inside the circuit so there must be an internal energy that is that is creating the potential differences and obliges that electrons will moving through this way and that is why emf you can say that emf that is expressed as e is greater than V because if we think about the differences we'll get the internal resistance of this cell times the current flowing here and we know that I is equal to V by R so we can say that V is actually I R so if we prove it here that E minus I R is 
So, E is actually I R plus smaller. So, the electromotive force is counted the total resistance. The total resistance means the resistance of the wear and also the internal resistance. So, we need to count internal resistance when we need to find out the value of electromotive force. And that is why EMF is always greater than the voltage of a closed circuit. So, if this is the question number B, we need to answer it like that. Okay? Now, let's focus on the first question is here. Calculate the value of equivalent resistance. How we can calculate the value of these circuit equivalent resistance? Think about it. So I hope you know the, the formula of equivalent resistance in case of RS, RS, that is a series connection, where all the uh, uh, resistance is connected with the series connections that there should be RS equal to R1, R2, R3 and the number of resistance that is connected into the circuit. And in case of parallel connection, we know that is 1 by. So simply, we'll write the reciprocal quantities joined together and it will run T, the number of number of resistance that it connected parallelly into the circuit. So, this is series connection and this is parallel connection. When we'll find the equivalent resistance. I hope you know it. Now find the calculate the value of equivalent resistance from this circuit. What is seen here? 4 ohm, 4 ohm, 2. Two resistance are connected parallelly. And then one resistance series and another two resistance, I mean four ohm two resistance are parallelly connected. So the thing is the main uh, strategy of answering these questions you need to think that what resistance are connected in which way. So there must be a very puzzle circuit, circuit is given in the questions. This is very easy I hope but there are some other critical type of circuit will be given on the question paper to solve it and uh, to find the way of electrons is moving and the directions of electricity and then try to understand the resistance either it is series connection or parallel connection now you see these two are parallel how i can understand because it's getting divided into two different way so when one after one series i mean a resistance is connected then you call it series but when it's divided creating divisions into the electricity then it is parallel connection now you think firstly to find out C, you see that 4 and 4, that is parallel. So we can say the first RP1 is the first 1 by 4 and the second 1 by 4. So now you find the value 4, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 4 by 2 is RP1. So simply RP1 is 4 by 2, that is 2 ohm. Now you think this 4 ohm and 4 ohm is connected with parallel connection. Same is here. So simply here RP2 would be RP2 would be also 2 ohm. And here another another resistance is connected in the series connection. So that is all together a series connection. So we can find the equivalent resistance of this circuit simply is adding 2 ohm. 2 ohm and 2 ohm. Okay, so we have just connected what? RP1, that 2 ohm, and RP2. So simply this is 6 ohm. Okay, so the, the circuit that we are just having here, the equivalent resistance is 6 ohm. Now you think the next question is design an electric circuit suitable for domestic purpose. So what are the, what is actually suitable for domestic purpose? We know that parallel connections is suitable for domestic purpose. So we need to consider all this resistance into parallel connection. Propose, purpose with given resistance where EMF 
will unchanged so the 6 volt will remain same and then compare the flow of current so as right now the given circuit we got 6 ohm is the equivalent resistance so what is the current flowing here right now the i is actually e divided by r so you know it from the uh, ohms law so as we have 6 volt and the resistance is 6 ohm so 1 ampere electricity 1 ampere current is flowing at through this circuit if all these resistance are given like that but if we design an electric circuit uh, suitable for the domestic purpose then all these resistance should be in parallel connection so as we know that 1 ohm is the current electric flow here so right now the i is 1 ohm okay so if i is 1 ohm right now let's see let's see if we organize all these things into a different way different way what is the different way first resistance second resistance third resistance fourth resistance and fifth resistance and together we are actually counting this like that and this is the 6 volt so here this is 6 volt this is 4 ohm, 4 ohm, 2 ohm, 4 ohm and 4 ohm okay following this one and now what should be the equivalent resistance of this all parallel connection that is 1 by rp simply 1 by 4 1 by 4 half 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 okay so together it should be 4 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 so it should be 6 by 4 so rp is 4 by 6 so it should be 2 by 3 ohm if you organize all the resistance in this way and then the i would be e divided by r so now e was unchanged so 6 volt and now it got like 2 by 3 ohm so it's 18 by 2 is 9 ampere so the 9 ampere is the electric flow if you organize all this resistance like this and previously it was 1 ohm so we need to compare so as we know that i was 1 ampere and now the changed i is 9 ampere so it should be ampere sorry so 9 ampere so it's a 9 times uh, electricity will definitely increase 9 times previously it was 1 ampere and now it's 9 ampere so it increased 9 times if you organize all these resistance into parallel connections so this is very simple mathematics i hope you understand and uh, this is very easy I, of course you can say it level 1 and thank you for watching and let me know that is this uh, series of uh, creative solution series is very benefited to you and let me know your requirements thank you so very much see you on the next video